she's caught red-handed basically here in the shop. That's a shame. That is not food, that is pollution. Hey Frugivore, welcome back to Frugivore Diet Channel. So I haven't been in the video for a little while. We are renovating the studio. There's also some leaks. It's just, it's a bit of a mess, okay? It's a bit of a mess. And I prefer to just come in here and film these videos. And to be honest, um, I'm probably gonna do that mainly in the future, just film voiceovers because it's so much easier. And I'm just not getting enough videos out where I have to put myself in it because I have to set up so much and it's a mess. And yeah, so just letting you know, there's probably going to be a lot of voiceovers in the future because it is much, much easier and it means I'm going to get more videos out, which I think is the goal. And I know you would prefer to see me and you will occasionally, but mainly it's just going to be voiceover because it's easier. So I also made a top when, since I've been away. You can't see the color. The color is absolutely beautiful. It's like this antique pink color and it's also got um, sleeves. I don't want to disrupt this too much because I got cords and microphone and stuff like that but I'll put a photo a video of the top next to me so you can see I crocheted it it's my own design and um, also I sewed the sleeves on it was actually a little bit more difficult than I expected but I like the kind of peasant <laughs> peasant girl look it's pretty cool um, and yeah what have I been up to probably should give a dental nightmare update because it's been like over six months now and yeah I still have symptoms but um, that's another video okay but anyway let's get into this today we are going to look at Cami Cami um, Peaton she used to be called Supreme Banana she named a channel basically after my channel Freely Banana Girl back in the day I've met um, Cami in person she's like thanks for saving my life all this but that's another video um, but anyway like one of you sent me actually some evidence of her um, buying and probably consuming right um, animal products okay and I'm not surprised I am not surprised by this okay because when I made this like video a while back um, of you know calling people out for no longer being vegan I actually no longer being plant-based right vegan I actually um, at the end of the video called her and Elise out because I suspected that they were eating animal bits and pieces and just putting on this plant-based front and I still suspect that of Cami. I don't think she's being honest with us and, and um, I have evidence basically but which is really it's sad it's sad but she's she's one of the biggest people pleasers I have ever met this girl like she just she doesn't like to be you know make it uncomfortable for people and I think she thinks being vegan or being plant-based is awkward you know it's not cool anymore or whatever you know she jumped on a trend that sort of thing so that's my feelings and we're gonna watch this video this plant-based video but firstly I just want to show you this footage no not footage this is from one of Cammy's stories um, about a month ago another epi episode she lives by herself apparently and Another episode of Cammy buys two containers of something because every time she goes to the store, she forgot she already brought it last time. So if you look in her fridge, she lives by herself, okay? We've got, let's have a look here. We've got something that looks like, hang on, got something that looks like eggs to the left here, but it's kind of covered a bit. We don't know for sure if that's plant-based or not, but it looks very much like eggs. And then she's got some Reese's candy, which apparently is not plant-based. And then she's caught red-handed basically here in the shop. There's this picture from her story. Where is, where is this finger elasticity when I'm playing guitar? And she's got these Werther's like um, candy, which apparently has dairy in it. So there you go, she's holding it. Was she buying it for someone else? I doubt it very much. Okay, I doubt it very much. So she's obviously not vegan. We know that. She's just shown that. And um, like the rest of them, she is. She will probably come out with a, why I'm no longer vegan is for my mental health or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I don't trust the girl, especially when she made a video basically like Bonnie Rebecca, one of those cringy videos, which I actually reacted to. That's going to be an upcoming video with Bonnie Rebecca. I reacted to her reacting to me, basically, and to the Thai Fruit Festival and the time when she was eating a lot of fruit. And Cammy did a similar video, and it was just, like, apparently as cringy. I haven't watched it. 
but um, I have heard about it. And I did, like, I don't like to watch them so much because they're always so negative, you know? Like, I tried to help these women so much. Anyway, let's get into it, shall we? Good morning. It is time my for my favorite part of the day. Okay, so favorite part of the day? Having coffee? Having the drugs. It's a sad story of 7 a.m. How did I know? Coffee, right? Coffee, 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 coffee. You know, if you have mental issues, which Cami is saying she has all the time, kind of like this um, Emma Chamberlain kind of style of videos and talking about it like it's almost cool, um, you should be not having coffee, okay? This stuff is it's a psychoactive stimul stimulant that you don't need in your body if you've got issues, right? <laughs> wow. Okay, I'm just going to take off that music in case it's copyright. What did she put there? Hang on, she put a little... This is my AeroPress. Okay, yeah, favorite way to make coffee. Right. Buns. So as of late, I've been really trying to prioritize me time in my mornings. So I make myself some coffee, light some incense, also play... But that's not me time. That's drugging yourself. That is poisoning your system. That's not me time. It's so delusional to think that you're actually looking after yourself, caring for yourself when you ingest drugs. You know what I'm saying? Play this rain and jazz music, which, oh my gosh, it makes the atmosphere so pleasant. <laughs> and then I just read a little bit. I chose a new book today, which was Slaughterhouse Five, and just for like 20. She she is really like trendy, kind of like follows the trends. She always has been like this, and that's why I think this the whole vegan thing is another trend for her. And she's maybe she's showing herself with animal bits and pieces, like animal products, like the the dairy um, candy, because she's getting people used to it. You know what I mean? Used to her not being vegan. Many minutes, I have some me time, and it's on. I have some me time, and it's honestly such a lovely start to the day. It's not because you pay for it later. You pay for it. What? Is this? It says coffee time again. Yogurt parfait. Oops. Is she having more coffee? Plant-based, at least it's plant-based Greek yogurt. Oh, of course, it's called a plant-based what I eat in a day, but that doesn't mean that she's eating fully plant-based. We saw she's got the candy. She might say, oh, I made a mistake. But she's been vegan for many years. She knows. Okay, take this off. Granola, okay. Almond butter. Bee pollen. Um, well, okay. That's not vegan because we don't exploit the bees. So it's not a plant-based day. Um, okay. Switch. Very small serve, very small serve, and probably a quite a high percentage of fat because she's got that almond butter in there. It's not the best thing to eat. It's really not. It's really, really not. It's just going to sludge up your bloodstream. Good soup. I just got off phone with my cinematographer guy. And oh gosh, I don't really. <laughs> Hang on. Let's just keep going here. What, is this another coffee? I think she wants to be part of that like art house kind of crew. And I think she smokes cigarettes maybe as well. And kind of just hang in those like, those pubs to all hours and smoke in the air. And you know, that artist kind of like vibe. I mean, artist, musical band member type lifestyle you know what I'm saying and that's a whole culture in itself and you know you've got to have the uniform she's got that outfit myself some tea just some throat coat tea which is throat coat tea the marketing's gone crazy my fave because I'm a singer also it's finally finally cold in LA and uh yeah okay we're not going to be listening to that um okay so It is 12.47, which I'm realizing now should be lunchtime. This is what she should be eating. I'm just going to stop you, stop this, and 
tell you that this is the lifestyle that she should be on, that she was on for some time and she got great results. She even told me that I saved her life and everything like that. But then it became untrendy. You know what I mean? Like it's like the trend passed, the vegan trend passed for these girls and they're just they just jump on the next trend, you know what I mean? Like they're very lost, they're very lost. This is the world that we have been brought into as females, like we really have to navigate a lot of like marketing and um, bad influences in this world. You know, that's why you've got to stay strong, you've got to eat well and raw to four, fruit-based diet is the ultimate, okay? Check out my books. This is a physical book. It is available on Amazon. So many amazing recipes, so many great reviews. Um, yeah, I recommend that you check it out. It will change your life. And Go Fruit Yourself is also available on Amazon now. But I mean, I, I advise you to get the ebooks because you can get them straight away. But if you want to, if you want to get the physical book, it is amazing. We spent so much time on the layout and all old photos and my story, you know, lots of new recipes as well in the updated version. So check it out on Amazon and also my naked lunchbox, which is amazing as well. Lots of original artwork in there. And it's basically part memoir. By the way, my voice is a bit croaky and has been since a dentist. Apparently that's a side effect of the Articane plus adrenaline. Yeah, it's really a shocker, and I've got to make that video. But everything's a blessing, right? In the end, make you stronger. This will keep you going for a while, because this will keep you busy. Check them out, there's a link in the description below. I've lost 40 pounds, re regained my health, my life, everything, and you can too. And I've maintained it for over, it's been like 15 years I've been on a fruit-based diet, love it. Not changing. 12.47. But I am in the middle of working, so I'm not going to make myself lunch yet, but I will make myself a little bit of a snack. Okay, at the dairy-free Fuego potato chips. See, so she, she reads labels, so she knows that Werther's lollies have dairy in them. Huh? Hey, that rhymed. Fuego potato chips, and I can confirm they are indeed Fuego. They kind of, there's something in my eye. They kind of have like a... Wow, this is why she's not going to feel, be feeling good. Because I watched one of her other videos, she's talking about not feeling good, and it's like, why do you think? Just eating a wartime bunker food, prepping for the war. It's like, you don't have to eat like this. We still have fresh fruit available. Even if you're living in the cities, you're living in L LA, there's plenty. I've lived in LA before myself. I know. Uh, hot Cheeto vibe? That shit's... Oh my God, I look like a little lad, that little... That shit's bad. Mm, these are so good. I should make myself a proper meal, huh? Wow. I will soon, okay? Oh, okay. All right, so this is so far from food that it's just, look at this, look at this. this do not put this crap in your body. You're gonna pay for it. You are worth more than that. You know, you need proper nutrition. Fruits, right? Oh, fruits, vegetables, yuck. That's a shame. That is not food, that is pollution. I really want to post mates, okay? I'm feeling lazy, I feel like I don't want to cook. I this is probably sponsored. Better help. Yeah, she's, this is sponsored. But anyway. I have shit to do, but I am just really working on my mental health as of late because it's been a little bit um, unpredictable. She says this in basically every video and gives me very much Emma Chamberlain vibes. Like it's kind of cool to be like, a bit crazy you know these days and like when you're not looking after yourself you're not actually eating correctly you're just eating dry processed food and coffee and what do you expect I'm just gonna give it to you straight what do you expect and Get I find that when I actually like take the time to do what is this position come on Hi, come on it just really helps my mental health so hang on but I love myself and I care about myself Oh, hang on. myself and just take the time to show myself that I love myself and I care about myself it just really helps my mental health so cooking actually surprisingly really does wonders for my mental health which cooking so she's she's connecting up the act of cooking with really being good for her mental health <sighs> Cammy, make the connection between the nutrition or the lack of nutrition or the over like you know you're having an overabundance of the wrong nutrition and how it um, throws your body out of balance and your brain out of balance 
Don't tell anyone that because I am shit chef supreme banana. Oh my god. And I'm not saying that you can just eat fruit and you'll be 100% happy the rest of your life, everything's perfect. No, that's not true, okay? It's a lifestyle. It matters, obviously, what else you do, sleep, water, exercise, there's other things. But your nutrition is paramount. It is so important. God, TBT. So, that was a really long spiel to tell you that, hey, I'm making lunch. <laughs> Tofu is the best vegan feta. It's from Bio Life, and it is... There we go, another high-fat you know, processed fake cheese thing. This is not going to make her feel good. Where is the fruit? Has this girl had any fruit yet? Maybe for breakfast she had this tiny little bit of fruit. Um, let me just like get rid of that. Pepper, coconut aminos. Where are the carbohydrates? Vegan Caesar? Wow. Damn. Okay, so... There is not a lot of carbohydrate value here. Is it? Vegan feta. All right, this this is not gonna leave her feeling good. All right. I mean, if, if you eat like this, you, you're not gonna feel satisfied. You're gonna feel like crappy. You're not gonna feel energized. You're gonna be like, this plant-based thing is not working. I don't feel the energy. I don't feel the vibrancy. You need to get real nutrition in. Ow. Lunch time. <laughs> yes, I do like to sit on my bed and eat my lunch, and then I have a TV right there, so I normally watch <clears throat> drama videos. <laughs> Actually, I've been really into Jen M's. Jen. Okay, we don't need to be recommended any drama channels, do we? There's enough of them getting around. And, aka the Korean market. <laughs> I swear to God, the Korean market is like my Disneyland. Let me give you a little quick haul, real quick. A dragon fruit because I saw Jen Im. Eating it. <laughs> Rice vinegar. So she copies other people. Well, I'm glad she copied. Glad she copied something positive with the dragon fruit. I just had one of them. They're delicious. Rice Roasted vinegar. Roasted chestnuts. They do uh, resemble testicles a little too much for me, but... Why are they in a packet like that? You know Poor the chestnuts. mushrooms, which are the superior form of mushroom. I do like them. And tofu. Kimchi. Gochujang, which is... I think I'm pronouncing that right. Alright, so this is what we have here. Hardly any rice. Not a big rice serve, or maybe it's been covered by the veggies. But, um, sure, um, look, it's, again, not a lot of carbohydrates, mushroom, tofu, vegetables. She's severely carbohydrate restricting here. Like, there's, there's not enough, there's not enough fructose coming in here at all. So, very, very cooked diet, very, very cooked, very unsatisfying, like, long term, you know what I mean? Like, over the course of the day, it might be like you get this high after you eat it because it's full of these excitotoxins. It's very like stimulating, but you're not going to get that true satisfaction that you get from fruit, right? She's not going to get that true satisfaction. And um, that's what I want for her. And that's what she was getting when I saved her life, apparently. But um, now she's really digressed. You can see all these girls are digressed. Bonnie, Rebecca, um, Yovana, Maddie, you know, sad. And recipe I found, I think this is it. <laughs> I mean, obviously, um, I'm happy if it's plant-based. I'm happy, okay? But after all these years, like, Cammy should know better. She should know that she needs to eat more fruit, okay, in order to feel good. And, like, she's trying to say it doesn't make her feel good. I know in this other video, I don't know. I'm going to watch that other video too, probably, but... Um, yeah, she just copied Bonnie. She saw Bonnie, you know, did a video. So she's like, okay, Bonnie did it. So I'll be all right. I'll do it. You know, she's very safe. And Bonnie just did it because she saw someone else. <laughs> My favorite part about this dish is there's just like so many different flavors. They just follow each other. Okay, so now we have a jackfruit. I mean, jackfruit. <laughs> a dragon fruit, which is great. A couple, couple of grapes. Don't look right, too I many. I just made myself a little dessert snack plate of sorts. Honestly, I was... I think she just she is restricting her fruit intentionally. She's having some, which is good, but it's just not enough vitamin C. Just thinking about that dragon fruit ever since I bought it, and I just really wanted to have it for a little bit of dessert, and this is just... Because you are a frugivore. That's why you've been thinking about it ever since you bought it. You know what I mean? Like, there's a reason for that. Frozen cut, yes. I'm using chopsticks. I eat everything I possibly can with chopsticks. I just feel like it makes the eating experience so much more enjoyable. Like, are you kidding me? Mmm. Delectable. That's a little bit of um, uh, ED kind of behavior. She's eating 
uh, the grapes with chopstick. She probably wants it to last longer, okay, because it's sweet. Frozen cotton candy grapes. My fave snack. And this is the dragon fruit. Let's give it a taste. Maybe this one's not going to work with chopsticks. Can you win? Go the dragon fruit. Sometimes it can be not so good if you don't get it ripe. And another thing, when you're eating a lot of crap, your taste buds change. Your microbiome changes and it desires more crap. So your taste buds are going to be all out of whack when it comes to your natural frugivore diet. Like, hey, expression Dragon shot. fruit is the catfish of all fruits. Actually, it's not that bad, but it's definitely not good. Anyways. It is good when you are healthy yourself and you get a good one. My little snack bite. Drink my nighty night tea. And that will definitely tea. be just everything I have ate for the day. So... Okay, so Cammy, please explain why you have these Werther's um, dairy included snacks in your hands. Don't try and tell me, it. oh, I made a mistake. No, I don't believe you because you do read labels. You know what you're doing. Um, and also are these eggs in the corner here and also Reese, um, Reese candy here, which apparently also has dairy in it or has animal bits and pieces so it's we would like to hear an explanation Cami. you do claim to be vegan she has started putting plant-based instead of vegan so i don't know what's going on there maybe she's doing that to hit the seo i don't know or she's kind of you know like just taking herself out of the movement you know what i mean just slowly transitioning away from compassion that could be happening here anyway that's my video for today. Um, don't forget to go for it yourself. I will see, see you for next video. I may not be in the video because it's, like I said, it's much easier. You don't know how much easier out here off grid. Anyway, so don't forget to go for it yourself and I will see you soon. And check out these amazing books and change your life like literally today. Like Hammy did when she wasn't being influenced by the devil basically.